Hey everyone, this is Goddess Lily. Welcome to my channel. Well, I met a girl at church that has some very pretty burgundy hair and she told me that she dyed it with Kool-Aid and 40 volume peroxide. So, I bought four packs of black cherry Kool-Aid for each four bundles of my super curly Brazilian hair. So what I'm gonna do actually is make the wig with these three short bundles and then I'm gonna use this one to ventilate a closure. So what I bought was my Kool-Aid and I'm gonna boost it up with lightning activator and so I have the 40 volume peroxide. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just mix, I have it right at like two and a half ounces. I don't wanna quite fill it up to three ounces because I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is just take one pack of the Kool-Aid Pour it in, and I'm going to use half of the acting, half, a half a pack of this. I'm just going to judge it. All right, I'm going to shake it up. Okay, so this is the red color that I got. Now I turned my spotlight off because it seems like the spotlight was making it darker. And I'm gonna turn it on and see if I need it on. So that's the spotlight and it seems like it looks darker in the picture so I'm gonna leave it off. So I'm gonna use this real little short one to test. And once I have it on, I will be right back. Okay, so what I decided to do was let you see what it looks like. It looks real gooey and thick. Since I want it ombre, I'm not gonna do the top half of it, so. a lot in here. I'm going to go ahead and start doing another one. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my hands and mix up another bottle and I'll be right back. Okay, I mixed up another bottle and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this third one in. I should also mention this is beauty supply hair, so you know it's mixed with a lot of fillers. So I have one whole big one left to go. So what I think I'm gonna do is cover this with plastic. And put it to the side and let it sit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I covered that one with plastic. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix my very last one up. So for this one, I'm going to use a whole pack of lightning booster because this is a lot of hair. So I've already put 
put about two ounces of the 40 volume peroxide and I already added the pack of Kool-Aid. I'm gonna put, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more 40 volume and I'm gonna use this last pack of Kool-Aid since I had two packs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake that up. What I'm gonna do before I start is I'm gonna go ahead and get some saran wrap. Or actually just another baggie. It looks really gross, like blood. I wonder if this is how they make blood. I think they use ketchup and something. Since I know it's like a, kind of like a lot, I'm just gonna add a little peroxide in here and shake it up and just try to get all this little excess that's left in here. Smells good, but you know, I'm not even sure that this is gonna take. But we'll see the final results. I'm gonna rinse my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this in plastic. So I'm gonna let these sit for about an hour and we'll rinse them out and we'll see what the final results are. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna do a check. It hasn't been sitting for that long. It's been sitting for about 30 minutes, but it looks so bright red that I don't want it to turn bright, bright red. I wanted it burgundy. So I'm gonna take some hair out of the first group that I did. So, it feels warm and it does feel like it has some burgundy to it, but I think that it definitely can get lighter and it definitely needs to sit longer. So I'm not sure what you're seeing as I put it up close, but so I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for the full hour. So I'm gonna wrap it back up and then we'll come back. Okay, so here's the final outcome of the hair. It's been sitting in this plastic all day out in the sun. Look at that one. <laughs> That's red, but you know, I'm gonna take pictures of it and so we'll kind of see what it looks like after, you know, I rinse it. I was told to neutralize it um, from one of my salon friends on 
uh, Facebook. She's a stylist. She said use some neutralizing shampoo and neutralize it so it can hold the color. But, um, so we'll see. I'm going to make a wig out of it. And actually, this is a nicer Brazilian hair on this one. These three are from the same lot. And this one I bought last year. I just bought these these three. Um, these three came in a package. And I'll show you the package. Um, what it what it looked like. It was like a five piece set, a 18, 16, 14, and a little weird circular closure that I just tossed. And then I bought this last year. So I'm gonna ventilate the front of this and then um, make a wig with it. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.